many people wince at the thought of painful dental procedures such as root canals and tooth extractions. Dental implants are an increasingly common procedure, yet the potential pain they may cause continues to fuel uncertainty and anxiety in patients. Let's begin by reviewing what a dental implant is. A dental implant is a small titanium metal screw that is surgically planted into your jawbone. Implants integrate into your bone as you heal, creating an incredibly strong foundation for prosthetic teeth, which are placed on top of the middle implant. Dental implants can hold single teeth, and multiple implants can be utilized to anchor an entire prosthetic arch to the jawbone. In most cases, four or six implants are used. These procedures are called all-on-four or all-on-six, as four or six implants are placed into the mouth respectively. All on four and all on six procedures require a more involved process and more bone modification than single implants. And thus, patients can expect a different healing process and different plans to navigate pain depending on their implant provider. Nubia Dental Implant Center focuses on all on four dental implants and delivers permanent teeth 24 hours after surgery. Let's see how they choose to navigate pain and healing for their patients. At the 24 hour visit, when we deliver the teeth, most of my patients experience soreness, and that can be from a combination of being open for so long and the inflammation. During surgery, you'll be under general anesthesia, so you won't be feeling anything. We do give you local anesthetic, which are the injections in the mouth to help we prevent the pain message from even going to the brain. And then at the end of treatment, before we wake you up, we do give you another round of local anesthetic that lasts eight to 12 hours. Dental implants are facilitated through a surgical procedure. The process involves extracting dead, broken, or otherwise failing teeth from your jaw. Then, the bone is carefully prepared for the implant. Single implants are often completed with the administration of local anesthetic. This method allows the patient to be awake during the procedure, yet unaware of painful sensations as the operation takes place. Multiple implants require a more involved surgery, and thus a more involved method of sedation. Patients are put under general anesthesia, which means that the patient will be unconscious during the operation and will not be aware of sensations as the operation takes place. Operations that use general anesthesia are either inpatient, meaning you must stay in a medical facility for one or more days after surgery, or outpatient, meaning you're able to go home the very same day. Many oral surgeries are outpatient and can be performed in the office. A lot of patients do ask me if the implants hurt. The answer is, as in most things with healthcare, is that it depends. There are some patients who experience very little discomfort and some patients with maybe chronic medical conditions who may experience more. The implants themselves do not hurt. The bone doesn't have that very many nerves in it but the gum tissue around it does. And so it is normal to experience some discomfort because the gums have to be opened to allow us to place the implants. Pain is subjective, which is why when you go to the hospital, you often see that scale one to 10 with the sad face and the happy face. So the amount of pain that I might experience will be very different from the amount of pain that you would experience. Um, it's completely subjective and there are certain individuals who experience more pain. For example, patients will experience different levels of discomfort, different levels of swelling that is individual to them. The truth is a lot of discomfort actually comes from swelling and inflammation. And so we do our best to combat that with ice packs, um, with Motrin, which is a, a medication that helps with pain and inflammation. Having cold food, um, like smoothies, milkshakes, things like that. If you already have a pain doctor, we will contact your doctor before surgery. There are some pain management specialists who prefer to manage it on their own. Um, they may prescribe you something additional or they may recommend that you stick with your plan. And then there are others who would like for us to prescribe. So it really depends on your doctor. On the first night after surgery, I would recommend not laying down on your bed because of gravity pulling blood to your jaw. So you'd like to sleep in a reclining chair or upright position if possible. You'll use ice packs on and off for 20 minutes. And again, um, cold soft foods like smoothies and milkshakes. This is a time to, to take care of yourself. Well, there you have it. According to Dr. Tran and Nubia patients, dental implant pain will depend on each individual and their particular case. But the feelings typically reported are discomfort and swelling rather than sharp or intensive pain. I hope this video helped you learn more about the dental implant process and what it may mean for you. Take our 60 second quiz to find out if you are eligible for permanent teeth in 24 hours, right here. Click over here to see more smile makeovers.